Hello, everybody. This is Joe Palmetto, Joe the Lawyer, Attorney Audits Agitators. Hello. Hello. In case you didn't know, yep, you knew, you knew I wrote a book on sovereign citizens. Today's video is not about sovereign citizens, but I wrote the book on sovereign citizens. Check it out in the description below, $9.99 on Amazon. Today's video is about a First Amendment auditor who's recording the police, and it looks like they're doing some sort of forensic uh, investigation here. You can see the one officer is going to have blue gloves on, and this First Amendment auditor gets arrested, but guess what? My opinion is going to be different this time than what you guys usually expect from me. But before we watch, raise your cup, your glass in the air. It tastes better when we sip together. Thank you for tuning in to Attorney Audits Agitators. Joe, the lawyer, sip with me before we watch this video and have some glorious fun. Cheers. Let's watch. Okay, what were you saying? Hang on a second. Hey, sir, I'm Officer Scott. Hey, right now, hearing from my scene. I'm not I, I don't mind you. Listen to me. Feet. Stop right here. No, no, no. I don't listen mind. Listen to me. Five feet. I don't mind you recording. You can't be right here. You can't be right here. No, sir. You can go right up there where that playground is. Record that. The distance, no, sir. Scott. Listen to me. This is your last chance. You need to go over there at playground. Stay on my scene. What am I doing right now? Try to do my job. And right now, you're interfering with that. Right over there. Right over there. You have it lined off. What I want you to do is I want you to go right there at that playground. You have it lined off. Right there at that playground. Officer Scott, six six zero. Perfect. What I need you to do. Twenty five feet. If you want to record, just go right up on there. No, sir. Unless you have it taped no, off. Sir. Unless you have it taped if off. If you want to record, you go right up on there. Unless you have it taped off, it has to be 25 feet. Correct. Correct? 25 feet is the law. Right? Yes. Sir, last chance. I need you to go up there. 25 feet is the law, right? No, okay, sir. How am I interfering with no, you? If I'm interfering with you, okay, you're going to you? Go ahead and turn around. What? Go ahead, turn around. Do not resist. Do not resist. Do not resist. What are you doing? Put your hands behind your back. Put your hands behind your back. What are you doing? Put your hands behind your back. Relax. What are you cuffing me for? Relax. Wait a second. Right now you're being detained. Relax. Okay. Hold on a second. In order to be detained, here. Relax. What are you detaining me for? Relax and stop resisting. I'm going to tell you. Stop resisting. Oh, you know who I am, don't you? Stop resisting. Stop resisting. You know who I am, don't you? Stop resisting. I'm going to ask you one more time why are you stopping me? Why are you putting cuffs on me? What law did I break? What law did I break? You know my name, don't you? Don't you give my phone back? What are you taking my stuff for? You don't have to sit. I don't consent to search. Stop. I'm not giving consent to stop. stop. I'm not under arrest. Stop. You are under arrest. Stop. stop. What? Stop. What? Interference with public duties. How so? How so? You're hurting me. Give my phone. Stop. I'm on the ground. Mr. Stark, stop. Go to the ground with stop. him. Stop. Put him on the ground. Put him on the ground. <laughs> stop, Mr. Stark. Stop resisting. Stop. Stop fighting. Stop. Stop. What are you doing? Who's not I break? What are you doing? Stop, relax. Yes. Gotta make sure you don't have any weapons on. What, you. Hey, am I under arrest? You're under arrest, I already what? told you that. Re for what? interference with public duties. Excuse me, how so? How so? Put the stupid ears off of me. Oh, okay. Here, let's roll them. You ready? Oh, you're hurting my neck. Roll them towards me. Ow. Towards you? Yeah. Oh. Okay. Oh. Six, seven, six, seven, four. You know what? I've been waiting for this. <laughs> You know what? I've been waiting for this. <laughs> you know what? I've been waiting for this. <laughs> what do you let? Put your fucking hands off of me, Stop. Stop. Damn it! What the fuck are you doing, man? Stop. Relax. Would you rest? You know Stop. what? Stop. Oh! Oh! All right. Oh, Let me get my leg shackles. I'll be right back. Stop resisting. Whatever's in his grasp. Stop is resisting. I'll be right back. You're about to be Hey, pop the trunk. We're good. Okay. Stop fighting. 
Oh, All right, we're good. Up. Up, 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 up. <laughs> we're gonna roll you to your butt. We're gonna stand you up. Get up. I can't ouch. Let's go, Mr. You're Carter. hurting me. That's what we're get doing. Up. We're gonna get up. You're gonna listen to me. You're gonna get up. Listen to me. Going to the back of the car. What for? What'd you arrest me for? Let's go. What'd you arrest me for? Let's go. You motherfuckers are. Oh my god, I can't ouch. You're hurting me. Ouch. Where's my phone? You motherfucker! That's your ass! That's your fucking ass, Ow! Ow! See, Bill. Ow! Ow! What are you doing? I'm gonna grab his feet for you. Oh, wow. Ow! Okay, so that was an entertaining video put together by our friend Van Bayon. He does some of the best work on sovereign citizens and First Amendment auditors. Now, this interaction started out with this gentleman, obviously, in Texas. He's got a Dallas Marion Barber jersey on. Come on, man. That guy's been out of the league for a long time. But jersey aside, he's recording the police while it appears that they're doing some forensic investigation. Okay. You can see the cars. You can see the officer has the blue gloves on and he comes up to the guy who's recording and he starts to tell him to back away. He tells this gentleman to go up to a park that's nearby. Now, I couldn't really tell from the image how far away the park was and the guy who's recording keeps saying uh 25 feet you know 25 feet that he's allowed to record within 25 feet of a uh, yellow or a taped off area okay the officer isn't having it <laughs> it looks like they had already called in backup all right the backup officer rolls right up boom they get out of the car they put this guy on the ground they arrest him he exchanges some words with them so who's right Who's right here? Well, I did a little bit of research and let's see what I found out. So when the the auditor was saying, uh, you know, what did I do wrong? What crime did I commit? The officer told him they often don't, but the officer did here. He said that you he was committing interference with public duties. So I looked at the Texas statutes and that is an actual crime. Uh, Texas Penal Code 38.15, Interference with Public Duties. A person commits an offense if the person with criminal negligence interrupts, disrupts, impedes, or otherwise interferes with, and then there are a whole bunch of different categories. Okay, and... Uh, Let's see. Interferes with uh, number one is a peace officer while the peace officer is performing a duty or exercising authority imposed or granted by law. So that that would qualify here. The peace officers, they're doing an investigation within their duty and they are granted that power by law. Um, the question is, the question is. Um, did this guy break that law? A person commits an offense if the person with criminal negligence interrupts, disrupts, impedes, or under, otherwise interferes with. So here's the question. Was this guy, from the distance he was at in recording, was he interrupting, disrupting, impeding, or otherwise interfering with their, uh, their job? I would say no. I would say no. I know that's not the answer you guys expect from me, guys and girls. I would say no, though. This guy, he seemed to be a safe distance away. Distance away. He's standing there, and he is recording. So let's talk about that distance. So he kept saying, well, twenty, I could be 25 feet away from a taped line. Now, I didn't get too deep into the research here, but it appears that in 2015, uh, there was a bill pro uh, proposed in the Texas uh, state legislature that prohibits anyone in public within 25 feet of police to record them. Okay, so I, this guy, this law may be passed and this guy may have been right. Now, it, it appeared that he was not within that, it look, looked like he was 25 feet away. Okay, so I think that this guy is probably gonna win this case. There's even an exception in this law, 38.15, okay, uh, where an offense under, it is a defense to prosecution under this section that the interruption, disruption, impediment, or interference alleged consisted of speech only. 
Hmm, it is a defense to prosecution under this section, the interruption, disruption, impediment, or interference alleged consisted of speech only. If he can define his action as a form of speech protected under the First Amendment, he may be able to use this section to beat the case. So uh, personally, in my opinion, uh, both actors were sort of wrong here. Here's the thing. If the police come up to you and they tell you to move away, go ahead and move away and then challenge them in court, okay? And you won't end up on the ground and you won't end up getting arrested. Sometimes the police do arrest in violation of the law and it's possible that that happened here. But this guy, he probably could have cleared this up by moving away and recording from a safe distance. With that said, I believe believe the police were wrong here. I believe that this guy was not interfering and that he was the correct distance away. However, I could be wrong and they end up uh, going ahead and arresting him. Who knows? They might have hit him with a resisting arrest uh, here as well, which would actually be a little tougher for him to beat than this other weird uh, charge. So, you know, look, sometimes I got to be fair. I got to come down on the other side. Today, I'm coming down on the side of the first Amendment auditor who stood a safe distance away and did not appear to be interfering. Now, there could be facts that we could not see in the video. Did anybody ever tell you that video lies? Yeah, sometimes even video lies. We don't see everything. We don't ha have all the facts. So, but based on what I saw in just that video, it appeared the First Amendment auditor was in the right. So don't kill me, guys. Don't kill me. I have to be fair and objective, all right? My goal on this show is to be fair and objective. So roll with me sometimes when I go the way that you you maybe don't want me to go. So thank you for turning in to Attorney Audits Agitators. I'm Joe Palmetto, Joe the Lawyer. I hope you enjoyed the new set and I hope you bought my book. It's a great way to support my channel and also get something back for it. $9.99, a large percentage of the profits goes to me. Read all about Sovereign Citizens. The link is in the description below. Joe the Lawyer out.